What's up everyone? Hey, it is, oh, today's Thursday. That means the gauntlet. I know you don't know what the gauntlet is, but you'll see. This is some of the biggest yards. I will show you some right here, right there, down there, this house, this house, and four others. These are big, so much trimming to do. Hey. I'm having a better day today. Only problem is now it's supposed to rain. So we are going to try this video when you see it will probably not be out till late tonight. We have Justin's on his way down here to do four yards of mulch and some edging. I've got nine yards in here. Then we have to go back to my house, drop the dump trailer off. Then we're heading out to do Friday's route anyway. I appreciate everybody whew, asking how I was doing yesterday. It was a rough day, but let's get this. I'm going to do this one. This is the first cut ever, so I'm not going to record this, but I will get plenty of the other and uh, just sit back and enjoy. Peace. Okay, I got that one done. Got to trim it up, blow it up, and look who's here. What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? So he's got to get this thing all rolled up here. Get a little roll-up action. And there's the mulch, and they gave us entirely too much. I guarantee you that. You guys, that is not four yards. That's like maybe six. That's all right. He's gonna mulch this right here, and that's the one I'm mowing next. So let's get back at it. Okay, this yard is done. All trimmed up. That one takes a while. Man, I'm sweating already. That's two yards down, five to go. And these are big ones. I want to tell you, this is how and I don't know how some of you do it, but this is how we do our mulch. We usually take about a half hour and Justin will just make dumps, small dumps everywhere. And I recommend it this way just because of the speed. If you're a homeowner and you're trying to do this, this would be much easier for you. Do not buy bags, buy it in bulk. It's the best way to buy it, plus you save money. Here's a couple trees we planted. Right here, last year we planted these on the end. But anyway, make the dumps close up to the house so you can feather it out and pull it back towards you. And then you can come by with wheelbarrows and finish the fronts. You'll see he's got most of his dumps back in the back, so once he pulls that out, then he can spread this in the front much easier to do and he'll obviously rake this off with his boot or blow it off and that way it stays off the patio but that's my little 
how-to tip for the day. Much easier to buy in bulk and make dumps for about the first 30 minutes if you're working by yourself or if you're working with someone. You can both make dumps for about 30 minutes and then the guy that's the best at smoothing it out, let him come in and work it and do the best he can with it. So, yeah, all right, this is the next beast. I'm gonna try to get some footage, it is so windy. got that mode I still got to trim it but I wanted to show you the progress on the mulch Justin doing a good job as always mulch job is on point and I wanted to mention a special friend her name is Abby my wife and I go to a restaurant called beer barrel pizza and bar awesome awesome place if you ever I don't know where all they're at but I know they're here in Ohio but Abby is a friend of ours at least I consider her a friend and so does my wife she is our waitress but she's more than that she's our friend man she is awesome you guys she has a disability but it's not a disability I think it's like a special ability Abby was born with one finger on each hand, one finger. And guys, I'm telling you, this girl is awesome. So if you ever get to Columbus, you ever get to Beer Barrel over by Easton Mall, ask for Abby. She rocks the best, nicest, most awesome waitress in the place and she's friendly. So, Abby, we love you, and uh, hope you get to watch this video. Anyway, Justin's got the mulch. Guess what? Do, do you see anything? Do you see anything? That's right. No skag demo. You know why? No call, no show. Haven't heard from them. They're not showing up, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm kind of disappointed in that because I really thought my dealer would be able to come through with that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah. Oh, well. The right mower demo is next week. And next Friday, I'm just going to go ahead and announce what mowers I'm going to get. Because there will be two. Ed, you already know what I want. But, uh, all right, I got to get this thing trimmed. I'll get some more footage for you when we get across the street. Anyway, man, windy, but the sun's out a little bit. So, let's get to work.
right, so I got a call from the dealer. He screwed up. They're going to postpone the Skag demo until Monday. And, you know, I think you all can understand which way I'm about to go with this. Especially if I can get what I want. Like I said, I'm not buying until January or February of next year. But, hey, it's 5.30. I'm home. I'm tired. That was a long day. Good day. But those yards are big. And uh, Justin helped me with the last two. So we got those done. Man. I may do a video tomorrow, I'm not sure. We're supposed to get really bad rainstorms the next two days. Obviously, I'm gonna be behind. We have decided we're gonna work Sundays in the month of May to get these mulch jobs done because with him and I, we can do one in a day edging and mulching together. Other than that, it's not gonna happen and I need to get a massive amount of these done, so. We need to average at least four to five a week. Oh, that's it. I'm going in the house. I will see you guys either tomorrow or Saturday. Happy Easter, by the way. And leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. I'll see ya.